Hey, so you clicked the video, you want to progress even faster in Honkai Star Rail. I'm not gonna bore you with any introductions, let's just get straight into the content. So, I hope you already finished the tutorial and by now you know how to access everything. If not, I will still explain, so yeah, don't, don't sweat it. We start by holding down the tab button, okay? And this opens up the wheel. Uh, first, you want, you want to go to your interstellar guide, okay? You just release tab while looking at the thing you want to actually do. You have the daily training, which is your daily missions. You can see I already completed all of these. And they are very, very simple to do. Level up any relic one time. Take one photo. Complete one daily mission. These are all incredibly easy. And the rewards you get are quite awesome. 230 Trailblaze XP uh, from one of these. And obviously the Stellar Jade, which is, you know, always welcome. So you should always do this. It will literally not take more than five minutes. They're just that easy. Now, second thing. Um, if you have started the game already, you will know that there is a character called uh, Herta, a little lolly with, um, with dolls, that has a lot of dolls, you know. So, what you want to do is press M, go to the map, and by going to the office, right here, teleport, you arrive at the simulated world room, or simulated universe, or whatever. So... Uh, this little girl created with other geniuses apparently this simulated universe called Metaverse and by completing these simulations you get extra score and as you get more score you unlock more rewards. You can see we have credits, we have the stellar jade, we also have uh, materials for upgrading obviously all of your weapons and characters. We even have these, which are the most important reward of all. What are these, you may ask? These bonds, you can see it says a reward from the simulated universe can be used to buy items from Erta's, Herta's store. Uh, I should first show that you can, even if you complete the first time clearance reward, you can get a bunch of extra drops. So, as we're into the simulated world, if we go to the store, you can see that with these bonds, you can get uh, from wishes to 5 star weapons aka light cones which are basically your weapons and a 5 star weapons makes a world of difference in RPGs 5 star is obviously the highest rarity that's why it is golden let's go to the next tip uh, if you press M either M or opening the guide as you saw both options show you this uh, trailblaze power right so, one Trailblaze power, you have 180 is the max, and one regenerates every 6 minutes. You, you do not want this to ever... My microphone is falling. You do not want this to ever reach the maximum, to stack, basically. If this gets to 180 out of 180, you are losing both time, efficiency, you know, all of those. So, how do you use this? You can just go to... Uh, the survival index and these are basically a bunch of rewards that you can get uh, This is a little different. We will talk about this a little later and this is the simulated universe These calyx however are where you get all your rewards. You can see all of these and for every clearance you get 50 trailblaze exp which you use to upgrade your trailblaze level now if we quickly go to teleport and go to this flower you can see I select option 1 instead of option 2 because the difference, um, I believe, this challenge gives you 3 of these books and 3 of the green ones for every, for, for every wave completed. However, the difficulty 2, it is way more difficult and we take, will take quite a bit more time, but will only give you 4 of it, so just one more basically. For efficiency, yes, it is more worth it to go for the force uh, but because I am very casual I go for just the uh, the basic level ones you can clear them super easy 
basically I can one shot all of the enemies which is why I don't really have to pay even any atten attention to the game so by completing these rewards you get a bunch of materials these are used to level up your character and a bunch of trailblaze exp to progress even further also this is money credits are the basic money that you use for every function upgrading your light cones upgrading oh and we level up and we level up we level up by pressing C you can go to your character screen and I have a few more of these uh, wishes or sterile passes to claim however that is just to make your character stronger you do not really get any other XP from that Trailblaze power uh, refills quite quickly I would say compared to Genshin Impact because in Genshin it would take 8 minutes per point instead of 6 minutes if I remember correctly obviously I haven't played in months on top of months so really quick if we press F3 uh, these are the warps you have the uh, starter warp which is 20% uh, less c cost I don't know English <laughs> so you use 8 wishes to get 10 characters or 10 pools basically uh, instead of the 8 that you spend uh, this is the special event or the character event warp which uh, features a new character every so often every period which I guess is monthly or a few weeks you have the uh, light cone which is the weapon banner basically you get stronger weapons as you wish and we have the regular warp we ha which has all the characters with a base chance of obtaining them all after you reach pity if you don't know what's pity I'm sorry that uh, we need to go way more in depth to analyze how the banners work if you want to see me pull then hit the subscription next up is clearing all of your missions you go to the first tab which shows all the missions and I am trying to level up my character in order to progress the story uh, however you need to do all of these which are just free XP they're just lying down uh, this right here is a total of uh, 650 uh, a total of 900 I'm not gonna do math right now, 9, 800, whatever, XP just sitting there and these um, quests, the side quests, only take a few minutes from 10, 5 to 15 minutes rather I would say, just free XP. Now, lastly, if we go to the map and we go to the power car, after you reach, I think is Trailblaze level... Uh, 21 you unlock this mirror right here and the messenger so you can choose to enter the forgotten hall and here you need to complete challenges and these challenges every time you complete them every time you complete them you will get rewards obviously and oh there you go here are all the rewards you can see it's quite a bit you don't get any xp however you get a bunch of materials that you can use i forgot to talk about the messenger's shop if you see right here when talking to the messenger there is an option to talk to him and uh he gets you to the shop where you can purchase a bunch of uh pretty good i would say uh weapons for free and also when you get stars uh, you get more stellar jade to do more wishes and currency there are a total of 15 levels and they get progressively harder and you need to complete different challenges in each one of the 15 stages to get more stars now the last one and the most important it's not really going to give you any trailblazer xp but because of the trailblazer xp that you get okay you can uh, click here on pom pom how is my trailblaze level and you can claim all of these rewards when you reach certain levels they range from wishes to uh, fuel which refuels uh, trailblaze power it gives you light cones it gives you at some point it gave uh, relics which is armor yeah here it gives you wishes uh, yeah you can see right here it gives you armor and as you progress you will get a bunch of rewards so don't forget to claim these because some people just have it lay there so that was it for my video I really hope that you enjoyed these are obviously for starting players for new players to this kind of game if you are a returning player from uh, any one of their other games you would already know this by now maybe you forgot some of these so I hope that it was helpful 
and ho hopefully see you next time. Like and subscribe, what are you playing? And bye bye.